Wait, Rox, what? when I last saw you, you didn't have yeah. tattoos. When yeah. did you get them? They look great. Would Thanks. I say, I'd say like, nice ink? Would um, I say that if no, I was No, cool? I mean, you could, but I think it's a bit cringe. Um, my two favorite ones, I've got Whose three. phone is that in the background? Unbelievable. The only thing I knew how to do really was music, so I went back to songwriting, and this time around, a bit older and a bit wiser, and not drunk or on drugs, it's working out a lot better. So. Surprising. Surprising. Yeah. <laughs> Hi and welcome to another episode of Hot Shots. Today we are here with my longtime friend, professional career musician, mental health advocate, and most importantly, a one-time bandmate of mine, the energetic and inspirational Roxanne Emery. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to Press Headquarters. Thanks for having me. Thanks for a great intro. As Thanks well. for coming over from all the way from Amsterdam. But you're well. You're kind now back in back I'm in London. Back or back in, in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a Break up, so. The roller coaster. It's been okay. <laughs> we're sharing already. We're that's, sharing. We're already. sharing. That's, 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 that's me. Yeah, open, that's open and honest. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. So, do you know the format of today? Or no. I'll just tell you. I'll tell run me. you through it. Okay. So, twelve superfood hot shots. Okay. Uh, twelve questions. Yeah. Some of the shots will be nice. Some not so nice. Okay. Kind of like the questions. Okay. And that's pretty much it. All right. I'm okay. ready. Okay. Very good. Wait. Rocks. When I last saw you, you didn't have yeah. tattoos. When yeah. did you get them? They look great. Would Thanks. I say, I'd say like, nice ink? Would um, I say that if no, I was No, I mean, cool? you could, but I think it's a bit cringe. Is it like me saying fresh crepes about I don't, cool shoes? Oh, you, now that you're back, okay. all the cool kids, the ones yeah. who are wearing like, the cool kind of sneakers that okay. I can't wear, yeah. they say fresh crepes. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I'm Try that out. Say no, that. please, feel free. It's, it's beautiful. Like, it's you know really beautiful. The wolf story? I do know the, about wait. the two wolves. Yeah, yeah. Like the which one so, do you feed? So, this is about feeding the good wolf. Love it. Because I've got a big bad wolf, so it's yeah. working on not feeding that That's one. cool. All right, so to start off, a little press kombucha. This is going to be light, you know, it's probiotic. Okay. It's going to really help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm laughing. Hold on. Rox and I haven't seen each other for how long do you reckon? <laughs> Years, I don't know. Right, first um, question. Yes. Talk us through your career in under a minute. I'm going to try. Okay. Um, so I was working in an investment bank for a few years. Then I started writing songs because my mum died and I wrote a song about her. And then I did an open mic night, got discovered, signed to a label, made an album, toured the UK a few times, album flopped. Completely failed. I decided. I loved it. I, I still listen to it often. I actually have it. It's one of my only downloaded albums on That's my phone. Really so I listen to it when I can't sweet. connect to anything else. Okay. It's my last resort. It's <laughs> <laughs> so I decided I was a failure, quit music, got a job at a record label, started working there, became a music manager. Actually did quite well, was managing some big DJs. I know. Didn't want to write anymore, didn't want to sing. And then that all fell apart about a year and a half ago. And I decided. Not fell apart, it's, it's just a. Uh, a transition stage. It was a transition yeah, exactly. stage, that's how we Feed the call good wolf. it. Feed the good wolf. The good wolf, right. Yes. And then the only thing I knew how to do really was music, so I went back to songwriting, and this time around, a bit older and a bit wiser, and not drunk or on drugs, it's working out a lot better. So. Surprising. Surprising. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want that story about when you used to work at the bank and then you told them you were going to leave. Well, that's, and then yeah. So, yeah, what happened? Because I like this. Well. It, I went in with my guitar yeah. and I told them that I was going to leave and I thought that they'd really tell me off because it was just the time we'd gone through the recession and they'd fired 50% of people and they'd kept me for whatever reason, they must have been mad. So I went in and said, look, I'm really sorry, I know you've just fired everybody but I'm actually leaving now as well. Um, yeah, and then they were really lovely about it and they said, well, you know, what are you going to do? And I said, music. And they said, well, would you play us a song? And I said, yes. So I brought my guitar out and I played a song on the so training cool. floor. That must have gone, so, must have been amazing. Yeah, it went down pretty You know well. we have a, gu a guitar actually that is, because we have musicians um, here that's no, on the wall. Yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 I just wanted to see what the reaction would be to that. Here we go. Oh, what well, can't. I'm the optimist. <laughs> I can't understand it. Oh yeah, if you... <laughs> That's not nice. I know. That's actually really not nice. And that's sort of the point. Like life, it's a roller coaster. Okay. It's you know. like 2017. Yeah, there'll be. <laughs> it's okay. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. And weirdest moments in music career thus far. Coolest. Funnest or most enjoyable moment. Playing at Hammersmith Apollo. 
with a really cool band and a group of friends. That was epic. And was this in? This was when you were like this singer was the first songwriter, time singer songwriter yeah. with a guitar. Yeah. And I think I was supporting Matt Cardle. Do you remember him? From yeah, Black Death? I do remember Matt Cardle. Legend. So yeah. Um, olive oil. Wait, what? Good for you. Okay, so um, right, uh, you've been through a transformation over the last year. I have, yes. Maybe probably longer than that, even. Um, a year or, and a half, kind okay. of. Okay. Yes. Talk to us um, or me about that. So about a year and a half ago, my life fell apart again. Just keeps happening. <laughs> um, transition. A transition yeah, period. Yeah, went through a transition. And I was in Australia. And basically, I had arguments with loads of my family, my dog had run away, I was on a break with my boyfriend, my best friends decided they didn't want to be friends with me anymore, and I just was really, and music was going terribly, and it was just awful. And I was in that point of kind of the, yeah, if I fell asleep and didn't wake up, that would be okay, mm. you know. I do. <clears throat> and I fell on the floor, I'm going to sound crazy, but I don't care, I fell on the floor in this hotel room. And I just like screamed. I was like, I surrender. Really strange. My dad had one of those once. Really? A primal scream. A where primal. He just roared animal everything it all out. It came into out. The universe. Like, I'm going to die. And then, <laughs> I, then something weird happened. There must be some kind of brain chemistry thing, I don't know, where I suddenly felt really happy. And I was like, hold on, this carpet's really soft. And I started crawling on the floor, touching the carpet went and like had a shower and felt I was like in some kind of divine rain. I was in there no, like this. I had that, yeah. And then I like was on my knees in the shower, it crazy. And that kind of, since then, it was like something just changed. And it's not all been a smooth process, but that kind of began going vegan, losing loads of weight, working on my mind, healing a load of stuff from childhood, a whole range of things. Um, giving up alcohol as well more recently. Next question, have you ever played a gig in an animal <laughs> costume? And I have. What with was you. the highlight? Yeah, that's right. Singing yeah. with you and you yeah. singing American Boy. We did, and every time I sing that song, I sing. Every, sorry, wait. Every time you sing that well, song. Well, sometimes it'll come on. Give him a bit, then. I'm sure they'd love to hear. Um, how does it go? American Boy. No, no. I know the chorus. I'm thinking of the rap. Oh. Yeah. Reluctantly, because most of the press don't fuck with me. Yeah, that was it. Wow, there you go. Down, cool. Press, down, see? Down. Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Anyway, there's some words where we say Roxanne instead of the other word in it. And Brilliant. when I sing it, yeah. I'll say Roxanne still. Yeah, good. There you go. You know what? Maybe that moment where you had that transition, maybe I maybe <laughs> sang you your name across Roxanne. the world. That's it. It was you. It's not God. It's Ed Foy. <laughs> I knew it. You know what? I can proposing that <laughs> as a concept for so long. No, so this is our um, lean green okay. juice, so really Cheers. easy. All the okay. greens, Sounds delicious. Good. That one's really nice. Yeah, I that's good. That it's a goodie. Mm -hmm. um, okay, if you could have lunch with anyone living or dead, who would it be? Oh, it would be dead. It would be my mum. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so okay. depressing. Great. Yeah, my mum. It would be nice. Okay. Fair to see. The, Lovely. I'm doing The well. woman you've become. Do you think you're the person you'll be for the rest of your life now? Yes. Well, well, no, I, not, hope, evolved, I hope I'll get like, better, but I found that stable foundation, which is good. very nice. Which, no, are you oh my, the garlic, no, 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 I didn't <laughs> do that. It's scarlet. Yeah, it's Do garlic. I have to chew it? You can, I mean, you can just swallow the whole thing in one. It's harder oh, than God. what you'd think. Oh, God. Um, what's good, though? We'll go for an Italian lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's horrible. Yeah, okay, to take your mind off that. Um, oh, God. Okay, um... What's your favourite and least favourite thing about social media? Sorry, that is burning my mouth. Isn't it more it's, burny it's, than you think garlic would be? It's way more burny. I know, more than, well, we've got chilli coming up. Ha. Huh. Okay, favourite and least favourite. Favourite is um, when people show up and are themselves and are authentic and connect. Like, my DMs now is literally just people talking about getting off drugs or alcohol yeah. or transforming their body or mind and that's amazing because I spend a couple of hours a day just talking to strangers about epic that things journey. and the worst part is when people don't use it that way which was me up until fairly recently right we're on a shot this one looks nice yeah this is um, like a ginger shot okay. with like turmeric KN mmm that one is well nice there you go yes, yes. No, Real wait, good. the chilli. The chilli, sorry, I missed See, that. you're trying to skip. Yeah, Cheers, okay, thanks go. for this one. I don't know how hot these are. They vary, very much vary. These are quite nice. Oh, 
Mm. Oh my lord, okay. There you go. Wow. Okay. Oh um, <laughs> what's the weirdest item of clothing you've got in your wardrobe? Getting hotter, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's all good. It's fine. Mm. Well, I don't have a wardrobe at the moment, because I've just been thrown out of my house. Good answer. So I'm not living, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no wardrobe. Take that. Like that's yeah. mind blown. Mind blown. And um, but in my, I'm living out of a suitcase. And the weirdest item, well, the weirdest item for me is the fact I've got clean socks in there. Oh, because what? Normally it's dirty oh, just, socks. Yeah, well, I just wouldn't wear socks. It's just never been. No socks. No socks. Yeah, that rock enough. and roll. That is rock and roll. Sorry, that is really hot. Really hot, isn't it? <sighs> Have we got. Do we need more refreshments? Yeah, with Jamie. Oh there my god, that is so hot. I actually like Spice, spicy food. Yeah. I order a madras. <laughs> <laughs> That's how boss I am. Yeah, like I'm a legend. <laughs> I order a and madras. I can fly, the so. medium spice curry on the Richter scale. <laughs> madras is the medium. And madras is hot. Oh my god, these are. Are you not suffering? Sorry, no, that is. Too bad. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, madras. Next one. <sighs> What's the next? Oh my god, really? Turmeric. I'm just having this. It's got some milk in. Okay, yeah. Oat milk, obviously. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Is turmeric spicy at all? No, this will be calm. Wow, has anyone else suffered? I feel really embarrassed. No, everyone has suffered. Yeah, yeah, everyone suffers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> all right, next one. Um, what was your last Google search? <sighs> sorry, this, this is killing <laughs> yeah, me. Wow. Yeah, crescendo. Oh no. <laughs> it's the AA daily reflection. That's fine. I like that. That's much. That's much more worthy than like Pornhub. Sure. Have you had that? Have I had? We haven't had Pornhub yet. I'm going to read it to you. Ready? Go on. An act of providence. Yeah. It's truly awful to admit that, glass in hand, we have warped our minds into such an obsession for destructive drinking that only an act of providence can remove it from us. There you go, that's good. That was an act of providence. Act of providence? That was the falling on my knees, I surrender thing. Is that what providence is? I think so, yeah. isn't it? I don't know. It feels like that. I actually What's don't providence? Know. It's a place in Rhode Island, but apart from that, I don't know. Um, shot. Shot, yeah, good point. You're sweating. Is yeah. that the yeah, light? See, I don't, no, no, I'm glistening now. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I glow. I glisten and glow. I glisten and glow. No, I glisten and glow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. This is spirulina. Yeah. Okay. okay. Earthy tones. Yeah. After the chili, it's fine. What podcast oh, would you want to share with people now? We're talking. There you go. Loads. Um, my two favourite ones. I've got Whose three. Whose phone is that in the background? Unbelievable. I've got three. Can I share three? Three. Go on. So I actually need this because I never know what's good to listen to. Okay. I've had some recommendations that I was just not jamming with, but. Um, well, it's personal. You have to find the ones that resonate with you. But it's my true. favourites. Not like partners in life. Yes, exactly. My favourites are Living Right with Bill Courtright. Okay. He's amazing. Last shot. Okay, awesome. This is like a little smoothie. It's a berry okay. smoothie. Okay. You're going to be fine this with this. This one looks nice. Yeah, it's, this is a Thank treat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. It's nice. That's so, really nice. That's good, isn't it? That's we make really stuff. Good, I know, we make stuff. You do. Okay, so now, shameless plug. Yes. What is going on with you? We've sort of covered bits of it, but I want to hear what's, what's going on <clears> right now and what's coming up. The epic stuff. Yeah, epic um, stuff. At the moment, I have a song that I've written that's on Radio 1 on the A-list. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. First time ever. I've been Radio 4 in the morning recently. I need to go uh, back to Radio 1. You're a bit too old. Maybe no, someone told guys. me that, and I find that offensive. Sorry. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. Um, What's it called? It's called Feel My Needs okay. by Weiss. Got it. And it's my friend Shannon singing. She's amazing. Awesome. Um, I've got some cool stuff coming out as Rory. I've got a collab with... These are all going to be young people, so you might not have... That is I've got a collab also. with, do you know Connor Maynard? Big time. Okay, big yeah. time. I've got a collab with him. Um, I do actually listen to Radio 1. Somebody called Seeb, an act called Mova. Yeah, just some cool things. Well, thank you very much for coming in to Thanks for having me. It's it been is awesome. very nice Thanks, to see you. It's guys. been a very long time. It has. And I'm glad you are back, back to the world of awesome. Thanks, you too. Thanks. Yay. All right. Cheers. Bye. Yay.